everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to install the sims 2 all right we're going to go to the website old game downloads so you're going to type old game downloads on google scroll right there and this website has any old pc game you can think of um if you really don't want to download The Sims 2, you can download any Sims 2 or old Sims game that you like, I should say. Like, I'm gonna type it here so you can see all the games that it has. Now, these games are archived and um, these have like Sims 2, Sims 3, there's Sims Castaway, Pet Stories. I mean, it has every Sims game you can think of. So if you really want to download other Sims games, you can always come back to this website. But for today, I'm just going to show you how to install The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection. So I'm going to type it again in a few minutes. Uh, I don't know why I was... <laughs> this keyboard is so hard to use when you're just using a mouse. But yeah, I'm just typing in The Sims Ultimate Collection. Like, even if you just put The Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, it's still going to pop up. So, there it is right there. It's, like, right next to The Sims 2. Then you scroll down, and you're going to click that little download link. Uh, if you see on the left bottom corner, I'm already downloading the game. I'm just showing you where to go. So, you just download it. It's going to take about maybe two to three minutes, depending on how fast your Steam Deck is or how fast your Linux is system is but yeah that's how long it usually takes and it's 6.6 .6 gigabytes so make sure you have enough space before you download it if not i suggest you clear out whatever games or other items you don't use if you really want to put this game on your steam deck or if you want you can get a micro sd card just to have enough space so you can enjoy your game so we're just waiting for this game to download uh, yeah, I got a few seconds left. I really should have speeded up this part, but I didn't realize how long it was going to take. So, yeah, we're just going to let it load for a little bit. And then after it's completely downloaded, you're going to extract it. And I suggest making a folder on your desktop. So, as I stated in my previous video, you're going to ex um extract it to a folder on your desktop so for example i have all my games on this one folder so i know where to go when i want to install a new game like these are all my roms i'm not going to tell you how to get roms but um this is where i place the folder so i can find everything that i need to install so we're going to go into our steam library and you're going to use that setup xe file i just circled around so you're going to go to your steam library add game Add non-steam game I mean then you're gonna browse and put all files now I'm gonna go to my desktop and you just go home and slash deck I don't know, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. okay yeah see home desktop so i'm going to my game folder this makes things so much easier instead of you having to scroll for the download so i'm going to the sims 2 ultimate collection i'm going to game files and then i'm gonna click that setup.xe file so i already have the sims 2 on here but i'm just showing you an example of how to download the game so you're gonna go to the set the manage and go to properties and then you're going to change the cap the compatibility to proton experimental click out of that then you're going to press play it's going to load the setup and then you click the little launch setup launch shortcut then go to launch shortcut you launch on the shortcut you're going to press that play button don't touch anything and you know you did something right if you see the Mr. DJ repacks. So once that pops up, you're gonna see an installation window that says Sims 2 Ultimate Collection. You're gonna click on install 
and I'm gonna let you know this takes a minute so I'm gonna speed through this whole entire process right here that is finished we're gonna go back to the properties tab and we're gonna make a few adjustments so what you're gonna do first you're gonna change the name from setup.xe to the sims 2 you can even say the sims 2 ultimate collection whatever your preference is as long as it says the sims 2 so as you can see here I don't know why I'm typing it in caps I didn't mean to type it in caps but it's pretty much self-explanatory just type in the sims 2 you don't have to add a dot xe and none of that just leave it as is um and then the next step we're gonna do is we're going to change the start in first so i'm just um changing the name right here so you're gonna go to browse i'm just um i don't know why i'm just fiddling around on my desktop but yeah you're just gonna go um, to browse which I'm gonna do in like a few seconds so yeah you're gonna go to steam apps then you're gonna go to compact data and then change that date modified to your recent date where you installed the sims 2 so for example it says Wednesday February 1st um, I'm going to my PFX file, then I'm going to drive C, and then once I go to drive C, I'm going to program files, x86, then I'm going to Mr. DJ, Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, and then I'm going to go to the bin folder in Mansion and Gardens, because Mansion and Gardens is the last game for The Sims 2. So if you're ever going to install mods, anything like that, say you're going to install like the Intimator mod and things like that make sure it's the um mansion and gardens edition so yes you're going to click the sims launcher .xe. that's going to be your target file so after i did that i'm going to add the dash w if you do not add the dash w your game is going to crash i'm telling you you don't add the dash w in that target next to the dot xe your game is going to crash every single time so after you're done doing that you're just gonna um you're gonna exit and it's gonna be the same thing on your starting so you don't have to change that so exit out so double check you know I was just double checking here now I'm gonna go back to gaming mode and I'm gonna see if my game is gonna work so let's switch to gaming mode. Now we're in gaming mode. I am clicking on the Sims 2 game I just installed. This part takes about two to three minutes. Uh, the game is just loading itself. I had to use my camera to film this because for some reason, my phone, I mean, my camera tripod was just not cooperating with me. So I just decided, let me just use my phone and my hands. Um, I mean y'all want to see what the game is gonna look like anyway so um, that's the point of this whole thing so I'm speeding this all up letting it speed up because it is a process but you know you installed your game correctly if you see this launcher right here so you're gonna click play I'm gonna show you the intro And then here see it says mansion and garden stuff now originally i recorded this with the game i installed myself and it had all my mods in here and i was like oh no i have to show them like the like the, the base game before anything so here is just creating the pets you know the weather because that's all the expansion packs you know we got bon voyage destinations and you got free time and then you got <laughs> the magic expansion pack i forgot the name of it but yeah here we are in pleasant view and you if you see this you did everything right so now i'm going to show you how to create a mods folder 
for this specific game. So, as I stated in my Sims 4 video, it's the same thing. You go to local, go to Steam, go to Steam apps, go to compact data, go to that folder you made, to the recent game, which is this one, PFX, drive C, go to users. Why I got program files? I'm just scrolling around here, but um, yeah, like if you want to install like other stuff for your mods, you have to go to these folders here. But I'm just showing you where to go if you want to change your UI and, or your cursors. Like I did all that off screen when I installed my own game, but um, yeah, so we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back to the um. Yeah, see, you got body shop and things like that. I was, I was fiddling around here, huh? But anyway, um, we're going to go to Steam user, documents, EA games, Sims 2. And as you can see here, there is no downloads folder. So what you're going to do, you're going to create a new folder in here. So create that new folder. And put downloads it's similar to like when you, when you um put the downloads folder in the sims super collection for mac because i remember that game you had to create your own mods folder it didn't come with a mods folder like the pc version of the sims 2 so yeah what we're gonna do here is just put downloads So we're gonna click OK. If you know how to install mods, um, like you do on a PC, you can do so from this point. Um, thank you for watching my video. I hope this helped you a lot. If you wanna see more content like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.